Hello eSparkers! Today, we are going to use text features to locate key facts and information. When you are reading, it is important to look at more than just the passage to help you understand. Other text features, such as captions, subheadings, bold text, glossaries, and indexes can help you find the key facts and information in a text. These features can help you find key details quicker and more efficiently. I was reading this article about the brain and I learned so much. The article was called Your Amazing Brain, and it was in my National Geographic Kids catalog that came in the mail yesterday. Looking back at the article, I can quickly see some of the key facts that I learned. First, I can look at this picture that was at the top of the article. Not only does the picture help me understand what the text is about, but the caption gives me a look into what I will learn. It says, your brain controls everything you do. There was another picture in the article that gave me even more information. This is a diagram of the brain, and the caption tells me that different parts of the brain control different functions. Subheadings within a text can help you find key information quickly. The subheadings from the article I read tell me that neurons send information to your brain at more than 150 miles per hour. Whoa, that's fast. The next one teaches me that when you learn, you change the structure of your brain. The subheadings are also in bold text, which lets me know that they are important. Not only do text features help you with science articles like the one I read about the brain, but they can also help you with social studies books too. Today at school, I was reading a book about the United States of America by Millie Miller and Cindy Nelson. It had interesting facts about each of the 50 states. At the end of the book is an index. An index is an alphabetical list of all the items in the book. This one was organized by subheadings, like activism and civil rights, and then by individual item. During class, I was reading about Martin Luther King Jr., but I can't remember what page that was on. I can look in the index and find out really quickly, because it's alphabetically ordered. The part about Martin Luther King Jr. is on page 15. At school this afternoon, I wanted to learn more about Martin Luther King Jr., so I picked up a book about him from the library. I flipped to the back and found some key terms defined in the glossary. These were some of the terms, civil rights, nonviolence, and the SCLC. As you read, make sure you take note of the captions, subheadings, and bold words in a text. They are important and will help you remember key ideas. Also, use the index and glossary to help you find keywords again and define words that you do not know.